G'day from the Media Centre here at the Yas Marina Circuit on testing day, post-season testing for F1 2023. And what have we seen today? Well, we've seen lots of rookie drivers on track. We had one driver wearing another driver's shoes. There was a crash and we met for the first time an F1 driver's new girlfriend. More in eight seconds. What is the purpose of testing? Well, it's primarily for Pirelli to uh, get an idea of what their tyres are like for next year. But uh, it's also a great time for all these rookie drivers who get to drive the track. And today we have a number of them. So what can I tell you? Well, uh, we had Lance Stroll in early in casual gear. Same with George Russell. And I have to tell you that George has had an infection for the best part of two weeks now. He picked it up in Las Vegas. He wasn't well. He was certainly ill uh, on race day on Sunday. And he mentioned in the press conference he had trouble coughing because the seatbelts are very tight and he couldn't get a decent cough in. Today he still had a hacking cough, so he hasn't thrown that as yet. He was in the number 63 car and I managed to catch a picture of it coming back on the back of a flatbed truck. And despite the uh, message up here on the board saying car 63 stopped at turn six, it stopped all right. Stopped in a fair amount of hurry because there's a bit of damage there on the front right right hand corner. Well, a couple of hours after George's incident, uh, there are still barriers across the front of the garage, so George will not be continuing on today. Oh, and at this point, I will tell you that my best of F1 2023 book is out now. It features 22 of my favorite images from 2023. I think you'll love it. You can get online right now at kimilman.com and order yours. You will not be disappointed. With the rookie drivers in the car, it meant that we had a whole lot of numbers on cars, some of which we've never seen and others we've seen rarely. And while the teams changed the numbers on the car, they didn't change the numbers, as you can see here on the screens that uh, sit in front of the drivers when they're in the car waiting in the garage. One of the young drivers having a drive today was Red Bull driver Jake Dennis. And uh, we got to meet his girlfriend who was up the back of the garage. This is Lexi Grace Boosie in the Red Bull garage with this fella. And why is he wearing a Lando Norris t-shirt? This is Fraser Sheeda, a director of ad management, the company that manages Lando Norris and Jake Dennis. Oscar Piastri was out on track today and I did note that he had no logos on his undergarment, his fireproof undershirt. Uh, I haven't got an answer yet. I actually pinged his uh, trainer to say, why is that? But nothing. Nothing back. Three hours later. I've just found out that they're testing some new tops and as such they have no logos on them. Probably the biggest story of the day is Felipe Drugovic who's um, doing very nicely. He's right up there. He's the fastest of the drivers behind Sainz, Perez, Piastri and Leclerc who are obviously F1 drivers. He's sitting in fifth as it stands now at 3.15pm. Uh, Could his success secret be that he's wearing Lance Stroll's boots? Yes indeed, look. Lance's Canadian logo on one side and his logo on the other. And I asked him why he's wearing Lance's shoes. And he says, because he didn't have a pair. It's done him no harm, obviously. Another big story today is the movement of trainers or physios. Last night I found out that Michael Italiano is leaving F1 and I believe he's going to the Indian Premier League where, of course, there is very big money. It is cricket on a huge scale. Who will replace him with Yuki Tsunoda? Unsure yet. Brad Skeynes is stepping out of F1 too. Bradley was uh, working with Max Verstappen. And Max has now commandeered Rupert Mannering, who was Carlos Sainz's performance coach. So that leaves an opening there. Daniel Ricciardo, he was uh, looking as relaxed as I've seen him in a long time this morning. He was out there in his Alpha Tauri, but will he be in a Red Bull next year? Rumours continue to bounce around in the paddock that Sergio Perez might not be in the Red Bull next year, despite having a contract. The interesting thing working in the paddock here at testing is that there's a big pack up going on. So there are forklifts coming and going. There's stuff being wrapped with saran wrap if uh, you're American or glad wrap if you're Australian. And it can be quite a dangerous place with forklifts going backwards and forwards. I mentioned in the opener that we'd met a driver's new girlfriend for the first time today. And I can tell you that it's Esteban Ocon's girlfriend. Meet Flavi Bala. She was 2022's Miss Cote de Jour and is also an externe en médecine. French people will know what that means. She spent some time at the back of the garage when Esteban was uh, getting ready to go out on track and then walked back to the hospitality suite with Esteban after that morning session. Actually, just zoom in here on this bracelet. 
EO31, Esteban Ocon 31. Flavi's getting behind her man. Are any of you of Argentinian or Italian descent? If you are, you might be interested in this young fella, Franco Colapinto. I put a post up a few weeks ago on Instagram and it was hugely popular. Well, he's driving for Williams today and was clearly excited about that opportunity. One of the great things about testing is that there's a very little pressure and the very few people in the media centre might be 25 here was normally probably 150 and we can wander up and down pit lane whenever we want and importantly go on pit wall that's something we normally only get to do a few times a year and you need a special tabard to get out there so it gives me the opportunity to get photos that perhaps i wouldn't normally get pietro fittipaldi he was in a car today for haas as was oliver behrman great to see pato award here he drove an fp1 the other day and was out in the car today frederick vesti's here too along with f2 champion teo porsche and for those of you japanese fans ayumu iwasha has done okay today he's done 60 laps and he's about two thirds the way through the day who's done the most at the moment it is oscar piastri with 90 oh no it's not it's uh Pietro Fittipaldi with 97. And the fewest laps? Well, that's Yuki Tsunoda because he only jumped in the car about, uh, I gather, half an hour ago. And he's done three. Oh, and I want to thank uh, Mercedes for this lovely driver's card signed by Lewis Hamilton. These are quite gorgeous. Um, they're a special edition from Las Vegas. Very shiny, looks like a large playing card. Number 44. And with an hour to go, I can tell you that on the leaderboard here, we have uh, Pietro Fittipaldi with the most laps at 118. The fastest time so far, Ocon, Sainz, Perez, Sonoda, and then Jake, Dennis, Pato Award, and Zach O'Sullivan. With that said, I have to bid you farewell. I invite you to check out all my content here and merchandise and stuff that you can get delivered to you almost anywhere in the world. This year I've done 92 days at the track, which adds up to 1,104 hours. And I'm in my final hour of F1 for 2023. And what was my final image that I took at the track for 2023? I can tell you it was a selfie, and here it is. Thank you very much to you for getting to this part of the video and to all of you for following me on YouTube. With that said, I'll say thanks for watching and stay passionate. G'day from the Yas Marinas.